يسمى الناس قسم من المعروف وتنهون عن المنكر وقال إن الدين عند الله الإسلام صدق الله عليه وسلم The President, uh, Honorable Guests, Respected Teachers and Dear Audience, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on this occasion that we are celebrating the birth of Dr. Mulana Abdul Rahman Al-Ansari Al-Qadi, rahmatullahi wa ta'ala alayhi. I think uh, four or five days back I was called and I was given a topic that uh, this is the occasion and even when you are supposed to speak on the missionary work of Dr. Mulana Fadlur Rahman Al-Ansari Al-Qadi. And, uh, okay, so after five, within these five days I have prepared something for you. And uh, first of all I would like to clarify myself that in today's discussion, the aim is that Dr. Mulana Fadlur Rahman Al-Ansari's missionary work should be evaluated so that his whole missionary efforts uh, must be brought into mainstream Islam and uh, some of the things uh, that might be considered as a scholarly error uh, that must be overcome, that must be debated and if they are not helpful in the 21st century or that might not be consistent with Islamic philosophy or Islamic missionary work that must be eliminated from the mainstream uh, debates of Islamic missionary work. So I will start with that Maulana Dr. Fadlur Rahman Al-Ansari Al-Qadri who is the founder of this institute and obviously as uh, my dear father has uh, announced that I am also the graduate of this institute. He has started his missionary work you know, in the 20th century, in the later half of the 20th century and we must be knowing what was happening in the late 20th century. I think most of the Muslim countries, if not all, were colonized and individualized by the capitalist powers and all Muslim institutionalization was almost dead or they were replaced by capitalist institutes. Now the problem was that Islamic institutionalization was actually replaced by the capitalist institutionalization and the you know, the terms that they were coming out and the structures of the society that were actually regulating the human personality, they were all capitalists. And the systemic dominance was obviously the capitalist epistemology. And for that reason, uh, what was appearing to be good was not all good that is consistent with Islam, but that was somehow, you know, uh, something that capitalism. And because of the determination of the historical process and historical, historical determination, Dr. Murana Fazlur Rahman al Ansari al Qadi was left with three options. What to be dealt, how to be dealt with capitalism, so three options were left before him. The first option was modernism, the second was orthodox, and the third was revisionism. Now, what does the orthodox say? Orthodox holds the opinion that Islamic history is valid and this is, you know, this is the, uh, you know, this is the way how the Quran is going to be interpreted and Islam is going to be practiced. Whereas capitalism is concerned, capitalism is altogether bad, evil and must be eliminated from our, you know, our discourse. And they were not ready to incorporate any capitalistic epistemology. Whereas the modernists, they were basically of the opinion that Islamic history is illegitimate. And this Islamic history which is illegitimate, uh, this is not going to give anything to the Islam and Quran is going to be interpreted by dominant scientific discourse and the technology. Now the other way that was opted by Dr. Fazlur Rahman Ansari was the revisionism. And I would say that he was the trendsetter of the revisionism in Pakistan. He said 
that okay, Islamic history is good, we would take help from him, but we would not reject it at the same time capitalism. We would take some good things from capitalism. And he was of the opinion that basically capitalism and Islam, they are compatible to each other. So some good things may be taken and borrowed from the capitalism. Some good things might be taken from Islam and we would, you know, uh, we would bring compatibility in them, harmonize them and try to put into practice and get the maximum out of them. Now, his innovationism, as he calls himself, that is...